Hello everybody, I'm here to talk about how to make custom skins in Space Engineers. Now the first thing we'll need to do is we'll actually need to get to Steam. Once we have Steam up, we will find our Space Engineers and we will go here to the properties, local files, browse local files, and that will bring up the Space Engineers folder, which will then allow us to um, edit everything that we need to edit by just getting these things out of the way. Now, one of the first things that you need to do is you need to navigate to your tools folder here. Once inside the tools folder, you need to find the model zip and extract it. Once the model zip is extracted, you'll go into the model pack, models, characters, astronaut, astronaut model fbx and you want to copy that after you've copied it bring it back to the tools folder and then paste it and then once it's here you move on to the next part of making the custom model you need to create the XML full folder for it I will have all of these uploaded as soon as I finish this video so Essentially, what you need is to, rename, to to make your own custom model. You need to have all of these parameters in it. I'll have these XMLs in the mod folder, so you can download these and alter them to your liking, so that you don't have to use the models that I provide. Say you wanted to add more mo more skins than I have included in this pack, or you wanted to decrease the size of the mod folder, or you know basically you wanted to do your own custom thing with it. Now, the DDS here, these DDS files, are the texture files. Uh, the DE is the actual texture that goes over the astronaut, so the colors of the spacesuit and things like that. The NS is the bump map. That is what allows you to put custom bumps, appearances on the helmets and other pieces. However, I tend to not edit that one very much, as that file is fairly large to start with, so I like to keep them small. Now, after you've made your model, and you've made your XML, after you've moved your model here, you need to rename it to the same thing as your model that you want it to be. So, we're going to call this one done, because we've already done it here. We're going to change, you would change the name to whatever you're going to make the model. Now, you come down here to the mwmbuilder.xe, and you run that. While that's running, we'll hit start, we'll go to run, app date, you type in app data, press OK. Now, once you're in the app data folder, you'll click on the roaming folder. And to find it faster, you can type in space engineers, and here it, here it is right right here. Apologies. Um, after you've got it brought up here, you need to go to your mods folder. Then you create the folder that's going to be your mod. Now, I personally have already created one called the custom skin prefabs. So we're going to work in that one for now. This is a very important part. When you're creating these folders, they need to match up exactly to your models. And also to your character.sbc. Now, your textures, you need to make sure that they match this part here in the model. See how it says textures and not texture? So for instance, if I was to take the S off of this, the astronaut would appear pitch black. He wouldn't have a, a texture to him at all. The next thing you need to do is you need to move all of your models that you're going to use so we're going to copy three through four or sorry three through five we're going to copy those you need to paste them into this folder now that that's done you have all of your models in place the next thing you need to do is edit your characters.sbc now you can use the one that I provide as a baseline for this what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to take this information here and I'm going to copy it again as I've already done this once with the model 2 
and then I'm going to just change the number on it to allow me to have all five of my character models placed into the game. So we need to change this part of it to third, and then we will change this to a three. Then we repeat the process. Fourth. Change that to a four. And one last time. <clears throat> now you can name your mod your character. This is the name that will show up in game. So you can have it to be whatever you want apart from single numbers, as those cause, well, issues. Anyway, the things that you need to know about this particular file is that if you have this particular code, let's say we want number five to have no jetpack. So we change that to false. Now let's go into editing the jetpack colors. Let's say we want this one to have a red jetpack in the front and a blue one in the back. We will change the X value of the first one to five or any number higher than the rest of them. You can alter these to your liking however you please. I typically will simply place numbers at random and until I get the color that I desire. And now we file, we go to file and save this. Now that we're through with that, we need to move on to the textures. Now I've already done a little bit with the textures, but what you have to do for textures to get them in the first place is you come over to your tools folder that you still have open, hopefully. If not, you need to repeat the process to get here. Now, you go back to Space Engineers, then you go to Content. After you're in your Content folder, you go to Textures, Models, Characters, Astronaut, and once you're in here, you can take and pick any one of these DDS files that that you you know want to use. So for instance, let's say we want one of our astronauts to be basically the black astronaut but with a little bit different um, like a, a white skull on his face or something along those lines. Now we'll rename the NS file. Let's say we'll put this as number 5. So we will put it as custom 5 because that's what our number 5 model is going to draw from. Now the NS folder file is the bump map, like I said, and I'm not going to edit those too much because I don't particularly need to do that. And we're going to open up this file here. Now we're going to draw something on his on that on the visor here. Um, let's go with a really messed up happy face. Now we'll go in here to export as. And then we'll change this up here from astronaut black dot underscore DDS to custom five. And then we'll tell it to export. Now you need to make sure that it either generates many that it generates many maps, because if you use the previous one you can have issues with it. However, you also may want to consider compression. So what I use my compression is the DXT5 on the BC3. I have no idea what that means, but it's the one that works. <laughs> Anyways, now that we've got our custom models made, I'm going to switch over to Space Engineers, and so I'll see you in a minute. Now that we're here in Space Engineers, we need to go into our new world for now you can you can use the edit world as well it works um, for instance you go to edit settings here mods and then it'll bring up these and currently I have way too many mods installed in this folder this one this world so we're going to just go and create a new one custom world turn off the auto save mods and then we'll go in here and we'll find our custom skins prefab. We'll move that over here now. Press OK. Press OK. Now it's creating the world. I'm going to cut past the loading screen because this takes forever. I'll be back. Alright, so now we have the world loaded and we're going to come over to our medbay and we're going to press T on the medbay. 
Now up here at the top where it says player model, it says astronaut just below that, and then here we have all of our lovely models in here. The first one is our purple camouflage. The second one should be the same thing, only with a slight difference in the toes. Not that that makes much difference to anyone else, but it's simply the model that I used. The fourth and the third, I believe, I just used default things on, so they won't be that very custom. But here's our fifth fifth model. As you'll notice, he takes a awkward pose at first. I'm not quite sure why it does that, but usually after you move, he, he works fine. As you can see, he looks fairly derpy with his little smiley face. Anyways, this has been how to make the custom models in Space Engineers. I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.